What, what are you, hey, hey. I didn't know we were shooting already. Don't give away our secrets. Man, <clears throat> are we rolling? Guys, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. <clears throat> Sponsored by RimGuard. Start your day off right with a little RimGuard. Ballast up, we got snow to push, and uh, we're gonna get to it. Mm, delicious. Folks, how we doing? We are gonna go blow some snow. Blizzard warning. They said the first time in 10 years for our area. That just tells you the lack of snow that we get around here these days in Southwest Michigan. But I don't know how much snow we got. There has been a ton of wind out there and there are some areas in the driveway that barely are covered in snow just because the wind's blowing it and, and drifting around. But I would say around nine inches, give or take. Uh, they were calling for like 15 to 20 at one point. And I guess there's lake effect bands. We get hit by that kind of thing too. But anyway, we got to clear it nonetheless. This is going to be the first time clearing snow with the Summit TX25 tractor. Got the snow pusher up front. Got the snow blower out back. We're going to knock this out today, but stick around for the other videos too. We're going to try a couple other tools, a rear blade and a landscape rake. We're going to see how those do on the gravel driveways. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to be notified when those videos come out. Give this video a thumbs up if you do end up enjoying it. And if you need something for your tractor, we sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country every day of the week. Check out goodworkstractors.com. Well folks, so first test with the Summit tractor, got the pull type snowblower on there and I know you guys always, well some of you question, why would you drive over your snow? And so pay attention to this video, 
A large stretch of the driveway has already been driven over. I, I gave it all of yesterday. Didn't, didn't clear any snow yesterday, and, and it was a blizzard warning all day. So the snow had been driven over a lot there, um, but then kind of near the circle drive area, nobody drove on that. So you can get a really good look to see for yourself. Is, is this struggling with, with blowing snow that's been driven over? And I think the answer is no. Uh, you can decide that for yourself, but really do like this setup a lot with the pull type blower not having to put or remove your loader off of your tractor and put a front mount blower on and i know that's a really nice setup to have but then you don't have your loader all winter long and and a lot of us need our loaders and you don't there's no easy way or quick way to switch from a loader to a blower and back and forth and that kind of thing still trying to figure out new new place for us here still trying to figure out the the optimal way to clear the snow got the big kind of parking pad and everything up there by the garages and uh I don't know, there's not a, well, there's, there's, there's just a big, that's a big surface area. You got a lot of area to clear there and uh, tried blowing the snow away from the garage without pushing anything today and working great <laughs> for a while until we get to the outer edges of the concrete pad where the blower can only blow it so far. And so you've got the original snow and then all the blown snow there and it kind of packed it down and uh, made it almost like a snowman, like you're trying to blow a snowman. And essentially it just clogged up everything there. And I know that you guys have experienced that too. So that was kind of a pain in the butt to, to clear that out. But um, once we got that figured out, I just pushed the rest of the snow um, for that section then got to the driveway. Now I'll tell you, I'm having, I'm having some fits with these markers, these driveway markers this year, all those orange fiberglass stakes. You know, kind of a pain to put them in. You guys had some great pointers for that and uh, gonna try some different things next year, but um, they've been in the ground two or three weeks now and I think four or five of them have already been hit and disappeared from uh, delivery drivers and whatnot. Um, I think I took one out today with, with the snowblower or with the tractor at least up near the, the, the parking pad in the garage and then um, lo and behold, I thought I heard something kind of clicking and clacking in the blower, but I didn't see anything flying out. Um, for, a, for a while and then I pull my blower up and then drive, start to drive backwards and do another pass and I see shards, orange fiberglass shards all over the driveway. Uh, one of those markers that had been knocked down recently must have got buried in the snow and it's not with us anymore. And so this was a unique kind of snow because again it was really, really windy and so it was blowing and the, the snow was not fluffy, it was kind of packed wherever it it sat, you know, there were certain areas that were really thin, didn't have a lot of snow, but the areas that had it, it kind of like, it was just, it was hard packed snow in there. And so uh, different conditions than, than we normally have around here. So it was a good challenge for it today. Handled it really well. Um, it is nice to have a pusher on the front because you just can't blow every area. And so some of the cleanup passes and some of the odd areas where it's maybe by a house or by cars or, or wherever it is, you know, and you just can't blow the snow all over whatever you want. You can at least have an option to push it there and stack it up somewhere nicely. So a little bit about the setup that we're working with today in case you guys aren't familiar. And so Summit, the TX25, a new model, a new tractor manufacturer that's out there, gonna be sold at mass retail. Go to their website and you'll find out all the retailers that uh, you can get this at, but it's set up in a, in a really good way, especially for pushing snow. I love these R14 tires that are on here, um, the Goodyear Titans, and this is something that I had actually put on a couple of my other tractors previously, and these come standard on the Summit tractor. Um, also standard inside here is the Rimgar liquid ballast, which gives you ballast weight for, for safety, but for traction as well, and this is a really good application for where you need traction, right? So the combination of the two, the tire tread pattern and the liquid ballast in here are just a really great setup right out of the gate. And uh, these tires, they're actually a hybrid of three different tread patterns. So if you take a turf tire, an R4 industrial, and an ag tire, and you kind of mix them all together and get the best properties out of all of them, that's when you wind up with the R14. So while there is a rear hydraulic remote on the Summit TX25 as standard, I didn't have that set up out here at my at my barn and at my house uh, right now, I had a electric chute rotation on here that I, I swapped over from another machine. So we're using an electric rotation today. It comes with a little controller, really easy. You'll see that in action. Just if anytime you see that chute move from one way to the other, I'm using that controller to do it. 54 inch wide blower, uh, really good fit actually. This tractor's about 52 inches wide, I think it is. So you got a, an inch, you know, it looks like maybe an inch and a half or so of overhang on either side. Um, so a good fit for it, uh, 60 inch, pusher up front too. So again, a little bit of overlap 
or extra coverage, I should say, compared to the width of the tractor. So that was 1,200 feet of driveway and landing pads and all that kind of stuff cleared out, primarily with the blower a little bit with a pusher too, but we're not done yet. So if you wanna see the rest of this, we're gonna tackle all of our dravel, dravel, dravel. We're gonna tackle our dravel, our dirt and our gravel. I'm just shortening things. So if you wanna see the rest, again, we have at least the same amount, maybe more of gravel and dirt laying that we're gonna do. We're gonna tackle it with a rear blade Gonna turn that in reverse and use it the opposite way, I guess, and see how that does. And even a landscape rake, uh, it seems crazy, but we've had some folks suggest that they've done it, they've had success, not on pavement, but on gravel. So we're gonna give that a shot too. Now, if you're in the market for a snow blower, a snow pusher, maybe pallet forks, a grapple, you name it, check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Thanks.